ask uncut we have ever received. I'm at an absolute loss. My fiance and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiance if he would be willing to have a threesome, a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. Oh! I don't even have words. Pregnant. Pregante. And that my fiancé is the father. Oh, my God. I called my fiancé straight away. <sighs> he said, oh, my God, I actually think the condom did break, but I was too drunk to remember or oh. to even think about talking about it. Oh. She's decided to keep the baby. Holy shit. I know. She says, I feel really blindsided. I have no idea what to do. How do I even process this? My fiancé and I do want kids together one day, but the idea of him having a baby with another woman makes me feel sick. How do we explain this to friends and family? How do we know if this can even work? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know. What? Oh, my gosh. This got to be one of the most craziest couple stories I ever heard in my entire life. See, this is what happens when you try to live out your fantasy. It don't always work in your favor. And y'all see it. Y'all heard it. The woman decided to invite her friend into their relationship to spice things up. And what do you know? Voila. She's pregnant. (laughs) She's pregnant. Like... Come on now. He said he was too drunk and the condom probably did break. See, that's what happens when you get intoxicated. Y'all got to be careful when y'all get drunk and y'all having encounters with other people. I mean, I don't know how they are going to be able to stay together. Imagine you invite somebody into your relationship a third wheel and as a man you get the third wheel person the woman pregnant what do you do now this woman says she's keeping the baby so how could you even get married they wasn't even married yet they was engaged so imagine y'all want to have kids but it turns out the man is having a kid with her best friend How is the chemistry going to be there and your soon-to-be husband is having a kid with another woman? That's just mind-blowing. I don't know how y'all going to continue this relationship. Sometimes these threesomes ain't even worth it. Y'all be trying to do too much. At least be sober instead of intoxicated. Because, like I said, the moment you become intoxicated, everything becomes a blur. And some people don't know when to stop. They just keep going, keep going, keep going. Next thing you know, they don't know what happened the previous night. So it's very important that you don't allow this stuff to happen. And I feel like the woman wanted this to happen. The third wheeler. She said, I'm not giving up this kid. I'm keeping the kid. So imagine the baby's father is in a whole nother relationship with the woman and The third wheeler, the woman, is the one that's having the baby, not the woman that's actually engaged to this man. That's just strange. I could see if they was just all having fun, but it hits different when you engaged. Hey, sometimes you just got to hang it up. Don't live out that fantasy or be in the right state of mind, but it's no do-over. This woman already says she's pregnant. She has no intentions of getting an abortion. So this man has to live with that for the rest of his life. And me personally, I don't think the relationship is going to continue. And this woman is going to be scarred for life. I'm talking about the woman that was engaged with this man. She's going to be scarred for life because she said that they wanted kids of their own. And dang, does she still have kids with this man? Or does she move on to another man? It's very unfortunate, but you just got to be smarter. I mean, I can't 
put the blame on the man himself. I have to put the blame on the woman as well. If she would have never had the intentions of having a threesome, then this situation would have never went down. So I know it's probably eating her up mentally because of this unfortunate situation. But that's what happens when you want to have fun. You want to do things out of the ordinary. You want to invite somebody else in your bedroom. This type of stuff happens. I'm sure this is not the first instance or situation like this that happened. I'm sure there's plenty of other people who have dealt with this type of situation or are currently dealing with this type of situation. But you can't put the blame on nobody but the two of y'all. Because if one person says, I'm not okay with doing this threesome, then it's not going to go down. But when both of y'all agree to do this and something unfortunate happens, y'all both have to take accountability for the outcome of this situation. So it just sucks that y'all was on the verge of getting married and this situation took place. I don't know how, as a man, I'm sure most men wouldn't be cool with another dude being a threesome. But I was just thinking like, what if, say they did, hey, whatever floats your boat, go for it. But say it was a situation where the woman wanted another man to be in a threesome with her boyfriend and the other man got her pregnant. So now the boyfriend is like, dang, this man that we had a threesome with got my girl pregnant. So now what? I mean, you can't get mad at nobody but yourself. If your girlfriend ends up pregnant, y'all want to get drunk. Y'all want to get twisted knowing that you are not in your right state of mind, knowing that everything is a blur. But that's what happens. There's a cause and effect to everything that you do in life. So that would just suck, though. Imagine knowing another man rammed out your woman and now she's pregnant by that man that rammed her out. (laughs) Bro, you're done. You're done. You're toasted. Get out of that relationship. It's over. I could not live with that as a man. Knowing my girlfriend got pregnant by another man. Nah, I'm gone. I'm not even going to be in that relationship. No matter how much history we got, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So me personally... I wouldn't even get myself in that situation. I'm way smarter than that. You got to use your brain. Um, Y'all be want to have fun and spice things up. But, (laughs) hey, it's not going to always work in your favor. But that's all I got for you guys. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'm gone. Peace.